you know, you ever notice with the markets that any time there's even talk of a promising vaccine or phase two or phase three trials are looking very, very promising, um, that stocks turn around very, very quickly. That That is how much uh, the street seems to believe that a, a promising advancement uh, to combat COVID-19 changes the game entirely. It's very obvious to say nothing of those who are dealing with this, afraid of getting this. Uh, there's been a great deal of talk around Innovio and what it's coming up with right now. Dr. Kate Broderick joins us right now, the, uh, the senior uh, VP of Research and Development and a promising vaccine candidate in its own right. Um, doctor, very good to have you. Um, where is Innovio on this and exactly what are we talking about in terms of combating COVID-19? Yeah, thank you so much for having me today. Um, we at Anovi are extremely excited with the data that we've generated, both in um, human clinical trials and also just really recently in um, animal challenge trials, where we ask the question, does our vaccine uh, protect from COVID-19 disease? And, and what we released today data-wise was showing that our vaccine does indeed um, protect animals from virus challenge, but also does that over a duration of time. And that's a really key component for a vaccine that's going to be effective in being a solution towards this, this terrible pandemic that we're all suffering through at the moment. Where is it now in the, in the, the, the trial phase, Doctor? So we're currently in phase one trials and the data that we've released so far from that trial is, is really incredibly promising. We've shown an excellent safety profile, a really pristine safety profile, which is, is such an important point when you consider that this vaccine is potentially going to be given to every human being on the planet. Additionally, we've shown that the immune responses we believe are exactly the type of immune response that we're going to need to be um, generating to protect from this disease. And so we hope to use that data to start our phase two, three clinical trial this summer. And that's going to be a huge step forward in moving towards a vaccine solution. Um, doctor, the, you know, uh, assuming a vaccine eventually, whether you guys do it or others or all in concert down the road, there are a lot of people across this planet who are vaccine shy, who say, look, I, I've never gotten this. Um, I, 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 I don't want to worry about this. I've heard horrible things about flu vaccines and the rest, and they don't want to chance it. Uh, how do you counter that angst people, some have about vaccines in general? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I, I can speak with one hat on as a scientist, um, but I can also speak with another hat on as a mum. Um, truly, what we're experiencing at the moment is, is, is so devastating. Um, I, I can only compel people that I, I genuinely believe, both as a scientist and as a mum, that the only solution that we have to really go back to being having our normal lives as we did um, in, in 2019 would be a successful vaccine or, or multiple successful vaccines. I understand people's concerns and, and I think we should um, have a dialogue about those concerns, but truly please know that all of the developers working um, on vaccines at the moment have the absolute safety of the people receiving the vaccine as their number one priority. We'll watch very closely. Dr. Broderick, thank you so much for taking the time. This looks very, very interesting. So keep us posted. We appreciate it. Uh, Dr. Kate Broderick of Inovio, in the meantime here, uh, the NFL is saying we are ready to play this fall. They've also sent a signal 